MSI, Xfinity, and ESEA. Neck and neck, but the neck is eventually broken. Fnatic will take the first. It is a hot match of the week, and indeed it did deliver. I'm joined by Chad and Yanko. Yanko, what a game. Good grief. Uh, right down to the wire until Fnatic do uh, emerge supreme. However, we got to see some Ecos. We got to see some the power of the Deagle. Goldens fragging, Lecros carrying. I mean, what an adventure that was. Not quite, but close to the game they had in China, that decider map, right? Uh, that was where Hel uh, Space Soldiers basically got to 14 very early on in the second half on the T side and couldn't close out the game. Fnatic managed uh, to mount that comeback on the CT side. And it was a similar situation here with Space Soldiers unable to really figure out a way to win rounds on the T side. For me, it was more, you know, the impact rounds and the, the ones that Lecro had with the pistols, where even the pistol round to kick off the whole thing, he had a 1v3. That round, first of all, should have been Fnatic's, then Paz got a couple of nice kills, then Lecro had to win the 1v3 and made it look super simple. But Lecro having a lot of impact on these, these save rounds, or these, these pistol buy rounds, that they're able to turn on the head, if Space Soldiers were able to close them, those, that was their game to win, right? The, the fact that they stumbled at the easiest blocks is the problem. Gun round wise, I actually think they probably played a better overall game Space than that of yes, yeah. than that of Fnatic. Fnatic just won more of these kind of rounds that they shouldn't win, right? And, and that's, a, that's a bit of a problem for Space Soldiers. Those are the rounds that you have to be putting in the bank every day of the week. Yeah, and this is another example of that. You see just the power of, of, of Lecro. He was holding B solo for a majority of the time. I mean, it was actually quite mad to see just how little investment Fnatic did have towards that site. It's weird, uh, like you look at the players who hold B for Space Soldiers, two of the weakest members, it's Engine and it's Magia. Here you have Lecro, one of the best players, holding that bomb site and locking it down for Fnatic. It's just the, the, the trade off there, who do you want to put where and how do you want them to uh, apply their trade and Lecro definitely did his in fantastic manner. 28 kills, Alex. But look at that, look, AK and M4 kills, they do not, that's the, do the maths, that's a lot of pistol Doesn't frags. Up, does it? That is a lot <laughs> of pistol frags, I mean he's been doing, the, it was the no. Desert Eagle. Sorry? Nine pistol frags. Nine, thank you, because I was not going to try well, and do that Yanko myself. Did, uh, he's got a degree in, like, economics or something. Economics? Yeah, you need that to do math. Yeah, because I got a GCSE. <laughs> I, I got that, a B at GCSE, so... I don't, know what, I don't know what GCSE is. It's like the thing you do when you're 16. Oh. What's, your, what's yours called? I bet it's got a real kooky name. Oh, man. Hey, man, have you done your ASAX? No, I don't even remember. That's just a guess. It sounded pretty good, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's felt right. Yeah. ASAX. Yeah, man. I've been, been bombing out my ASAX, doing some mad waves, challenge. Man, bro. There we go. Australian Scientific Academy Challenge, ASAX. Anyway. Yeah. You don't know what it's called? No, I forget the name. No. I didn't do it Really anyway. cool, really, really nice inside scoop. Just played games, I'll man. Google Look it. at me now. I'll Google it. Look at me anyway, now. playing games is exactly what we're going to continue to do, because Cobblestone is up next, our final map of the evening. Now, Yanko, I'm afraid I didn't get to catch that Space Soldiers WSG final. Do you, do you, can I test you and see? I know Mirage was the last map. Yeah, Did we of see course, for that the A split in the first gun round. <laughs> no, <and he's>, uh, <laughs> you rough it. No, I think Did Cobble crop up? I don't no, remember. I think this is a, a map that uh, Space Alex. Soldiers play more often than Fnatic. So when it comes to that, they should have more routine uh, on the map and, and, and be more prepared, I believe. Okay, so it did. Yeah, you're right, Chad. I've just got it in front of me now. 16-12. 16-12. So Fnatic beat them on Cobblestone and then eventually beat them on Mirage after a crazy comeback. It's like 14-7 that they came back from or yeah, something Crims like that. was super hyped. You saw his tweet, just like, a, that felt perfect. That felt like Fnatic of old. So he really enjoyed that. Yeah, everyone enjoys winning lots of money. Yeah, I'm sure that's actually quite a nice feeling, yeah. actually. Yeah, like because you're knowing you just won something and mm. you're going to get a lot of it. Especially if and you get money. paid in reasonable time. Yes, that's always nice. Yeah, well, like, because the quicker you get the money, the quicker you can spend it on nice things. Or and invest also it. something that you and learn in it, kids. economic school mm. is ta money loses value over time. Oh. Because prices go up, it's called inflation. Oh, wow. So if you don't get your money in time, it's worth less the later you get it. I remember Which I did means you should get paid more time. if people get you know if you get paid late i studied oh. i studied no, it's a proven concept in economics i studied economics at a level mm. um and the things i remember are gdp stands for gross domestic product right. and supply and demand graphs i drew a lot of them okay yeah that's pretty I, much all i got I slept that's in the economics. one you actually use in, in your line of work yeah supply and demand what happens when there's not enough supply and demand goes up oh wait hang on price okay. goes up yeah your price p helps. p is the uh, this axis yeah yeah I, I what's this axis demand d well, you guys paid attention. I didn't pay attention. Not really, mate. No. 
I, I, I genuinely like, I'm not even evidence of my absence. I'm not even kidding. Attention. Mr. Bremner just let me sleep in economics because that was the first period of every day, and I set up to 2 a.m. playing Counter Strike well, every night. that's foolish structuring of lesson plans, and we've Is really gone school? on quite the mm, topic. High school, really? Wish I had it in high school. Yeah. No, wait. Mr. Bremner was the media teacher. Mr. Bremner. <laughs> Bremner. Bremner. Yeah. I forget the economics teacher. He couldn't have been that important. I just remember Miss Griffiths. Could that well, hated me. you wish you did pay attention now when you have to pay your taxes, don't you, Chad? Yes, I don't pay indeed. taxes, Yanker. Wow. And on that bombshell! <laughs> <laughs> we know who's not doing any more tournaments in the US. Ooh. Cobblestone is coming up next. And indeed, they have played very recently in China, which was where that 800,000 check was written. And I'm going to go ahead and take a quick stroll, gents. It's been a pleasure. Can we quickly do a jingle before you take away? You got a jingle well, for Well, I'm us? just thinking, we do something like this for Hot Match of the Week of Tram. Hot Match of the Week. And then it goes like chicka chicka wow. Yeah, weird. No, we can do a yodeling. Um, oh, yes. yes. <laughs> no. Again with the oh, yodeling. No, no, no. One go, one go. No. There we go, got him. Thank you. He can't you. resist his finger show, man. I know, that's me. I'm popping today. That's I feel popping. like I'm popping. Well, Thank you so much. That's Chad and yeah. Yanko. I've taken my walk. I'm keeping my distance. And I'm joined by Henry G. And we're gonna be going to go on another adventure. Cobblestone up next. I actually really like Cobblestone. Everyone's so anti-cobble. Cobblestone is a weird map for Space Soldiers. Sometimes they're lights out in this, sometimes they're very quiet indeed. Yeah. One notable result that comes to mind is back at the Major in the qualifying process. They actually lost to Sprout in their opening game Ooh. at that game, uh, that tournament. And then they came back and then weeks later they looked much better on that map. So I'm hoping to see a good performance tonight from Space Soldiers. It's a map where Fnatic can be um, a little bit troublesome. We'll see what happens here tonight. Alex, as Fnatic will be starting on the CT side. And we'll see what they can kick things off with a pistol victory here. Look at the buyers coming in. It will be armor available for four players on the CD side. Golden yet to purchase his. There it is. JW with the kit and the smoke. Three smokes. Oh, no, sorry. Three sets of armor for Space Soldiers. One smoke. A few flashbangs. Most teams go towards B. It looks like that will be potentially the case. It could go for an A split as well, of course, with two players lurking towards those B halls. We'll have a look as to how this one finishes up. They'll go towards drop downs on Terra's engine and pads ready and waiting as Lecro starts to exchange shots near the upper platform. See how this one's going to go down. Golden's already got himself one. It will be traded though. And now here they come the flood of T's. And it's going to be down to Lecro. He's been spectacular on Mirage. And that's not so great. We get a nice and easy pistol then for Space Soldiers. This should be very difficult for Crimson Flushes to make any impact now. That should be the end of that conversation. Smoke's locked them out from doors as well. They've basically got two areas of approach and both of them predictable. Double peak going to be coming in from two different heights and that, my friends, is the pistol. Space Soldiers, their success in pistols continues. It absolutely does. Four players surviving as well. Fast B attack coming in, focusing on that drop down room. Not much presence at all from the CTs there and they try to combat the upper platform as well. It always went wrong in pretty much every part of the map. It will be Space Soldiers with a clean pistol and a force by coming in from Fnatic here. The CZs will come out, the Deagles as well. But do not discount Fnatic on these sort of rounds. I'll be absolutely happy to show you what they're capable of with the Desert Eagles. As we get into round number two here, we're going to see one smoke for them and a flashbang as well. Only two, two rifles for Space Soldiers in the hands of Paz and Zantaras. They'll be heading towards B. We're going to see a lot less of that madness of five SMGs that used to get you real right. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really make sense on any map. I can't think of a, a situation unless you're rushing beyond Inferno. Sure. Like just get the five Mac tens out and just go for it. That's what Envy were doing. They're hardly trailblazers in terms of the economic Trail. standpoint <laughs> in free CSGO. But Lecro is with the Desert Eagle. He's only going to get the one, but fortunately Crims is there to trade immediately. He fills that void and the CT side can continue to form around. Ooh, he wants that Deagle. Just moving himself within the millimeter radius he needed and safe and sound. In fact, he's going to be very safe because his teammate is in trouble. Flusher about to meet three of them in quick succession. But look at the weapon he's got. He can hear them as well. Yeah, admittedly, here's Flusher. And that's the first. He's getting a little bit of an opportunity. Calyx, though, keeps Space Soldiers alive. They've got the weaponry and it does seem like they've got the utility just to keep them at bay. Golden's managed to get himself across, though, and that should be the end of it. No Paz, just fluffing his line somewhat. And so the 2v1 ends with Calyx. That will be 2-0. to zero. Well, there we have it, Alex. 2-0. Got a bit dicey. They went back towards the A site, traded the other kill with Flusher. Like I said, the CZ in hand, I thought he might get one or two kills, but they actually go in one by one and then ultimately did work out for them. Ideally, that's not the way you do it, but it's worked out in that particular instance. It's going to be three AKs now, two Max 10s up against nothing purchased by Fnatic. Five default pistols, the silenced USP, no armor, no nades, and must be stacking five players towards B, hoping that some blunders come in from Space Soldiers and they can potentially pick up a kill or two. They can then with the Max 10 flashed in, and he hasn't checked beneath him. Here we're going down momentarily, and what's uh, going on here? Hello, Jake. Get it. Oh, oh, yeah, Zeus. Zeus. Okay, he's trying to make a meme. 
And that's something. Let's get the one, and that should be the end of that. Now, before we talk about the Zeus, I want to. Have you looked at all of the kind of interesting suggestions the community have made for balancing the CZ? I find them really quite exciting. I think all I want to do with it is just reduce it as eight bullets instead. Eight. Okay. I think that will be enough, and you're not going to kill reward back to 300. Is the reload time so long? Yeah. yeah so fair. then you like. You can get one kill with it, but you can't get two. But then I think eight is just enough of a stifle sure. to kind of hold it at bay. And it's that simple clip where you see him on train. He, go, he goes up towards like the top of Pop Dog and kills yes. four of them with one clip. That's right. when you look at it and go. So for That's me, just, just remove those four bullets from the clip. I okay. think you're, you're onto something. What, what else have they got? A uh, lot of people are suggesting, like, even extending the reload time even more, making it just one clip. So sure, you can do that potentially, but there's like you've basically got a knife if it doesn't work out. So it's a real risk reward, even more so. It's quite cool. I quite yes. like that idea as well. Could be something. Now we'll talk about it more because we're going into is a weapon round, and Zantaris takes Flusher immediately out of the equation. Very swift dispatch of him. And so let's have a little look how quickly Space Soldiers will be approaching this one. Zantaris just seems to be the spearhead of the assault, and absolutely they're going to go ahead and get their socks up now. Charging. Rampage. <clears throat> Rampaging into the A site, and I'm struggling to talk. That's okay, let me take over for now. We have the civil water. We'll be major to do whatever he can with the AK 47. Looking so good for the space soldiers right now. Zanteras will be looking to close things out. He doesn't do it, the round still is theirs. They want to make sure they take down Golden. We don't want to risk anything in the next round. They just want to make sure they do it correctly. Golden can be quite a keen fragger. Oh, they and Kalex will finish things off. 600 bucks in the bag for the kill with the UMP. Two kills for Zantara is there. They've got so much money God, they in their token racing. bank accounts here. There's a lot to work with. They are scale. racing across at the moment. Taking a quick turn on Gambon, and you just see them finding more and more speed. I mean, they're yeah. accelerating. Four to zero now. Trying to get across the line. Absolutely. Well, they're four steps in the right direction to do so. Perhaps even should they concede one, they'll have to turn it up to the top gear. But at the moment going to be should be nice and easy another scout that makes me happy get to see that back in action this time in the hands of flusher we'll see where he's choosing to utilize that this time towards long and there's very few chances unless he chooses to go there aggressive and there it is the, the boosted same player side. as well <laughs> what is that he's so filthy with that gun and jw trying to hit them with the meme again we'll see whether that's going to work out like so ideally you want to be able to do that twice but obviously the zeus you only get one clip like yeah. one shot one charge. One opportunity. Yeah, exactly. It's always interesting to see. I mean, I know there's some players out there who want to try and make the Zeus a thing. It's not a thing, unfortunately. It used to be now. a thing. Like, before yeah. they nerfed it to Oblivion, like, it was actually pretty cool. When you cool. say nerfed it, what, what, how much They reduced it the, the, the range of it, and yeah. they made you... You couldn't run full speed of it anymore. You just better ah, run as fast as you could okay. with a knife of the Zeus. So you could be really mobile and, like, nimble and with you it. You just do, like, like a nice yeah, wide and straight. And yeah, and you used to get full kill reward as well. They just kind of nerfed loads of things about it. And then it's like, uh you know what, it's not that cool anymore. Well, it doesn't, weapon, apart it's not, from even, a, it's not even a guaranteed kill anymore if you hit someone with it. It like, can do like 95 damage. And it's like, well, that's done nothing for me. That really sucks. Yeah, he's like, well, what's the point? Like, if it's not even hit someone, it's probably got to be an instant kill to even be viable. Whereas Major goes with a knife. Or I should say JW goes for it. Major avoided the stab. But the vehicles are happening, but so are the flames as Galax deals with this problem in an efficient manner. But Golden still has the AK 47 armor to go with as well. So the full back here as Golden shows his position from the balcony area great shot brings it in Calix. oh my goodness golden he's done it again that was glorious even the firing at the wall as he descended to cover them to mask the drop sound as well really solid work from golden that was effective 3k from him he scavenged away in ak-47 and look what it's done for him and the team fanatic are off the start Fourth of the races that was just a deagle round as well started off some deagles and scouts Golden gets an AK, gets three kills in total, a glorious two versus one. And a match timeout will be called by the Space Soldiers, I'd imagine. You've got plenty of money here, got to work out with on the AWP. Um, just work out what kind of money Fnatic will have after winning an Eco. They're probably going to bring out their ult for the first time. We'll see what happens here. We'll get back into it. Here's the replay of Kalex getting it done, recovering that Oof. round for them. Great shots on either side, but it's Golden that comes out on top in the end. Were you uh, into medieval stuff when you were a kid? I was well into the knights and When you castles. say like stuff, like, do you mean like toys or actually like the actual As in like history, history and... No, the, not really. The toys Why? though? Um... Because I had a full set of armor that didn't fit. <laughs> Why would you have that? Because I was really jealous of the kids that had the full plastic suit of armor. Okay. I, I used to have, I had the, the chest plate and I had the yeah, blue, see, the blue sword about, yeah. and I had a helmet. And I had a shield as well, I had like a lion on it. I never had the really shield. Cool. Yeah, the, my neighbors had the shield. Yeah. Um, I had the chest plate, I remember that. But I had a blue sword. It was really cool. Like, you know, those pointy, proper, yeah. like, yeah, you had too helmet. big for it. Or what? Yeah. 
I had an adult head age three. <laughs> It was That's real problematic. Right. You should oh, have seen me skiing. They had to go in the back room just to find something that's Did I get one of those hats that I just sit there? Like yeah, that. no. It's too small. It's me. too small, yeah. Yeah, yeah I definitely, oh, no, too I mean, big. That's, that's actually that's what's big. stopping me buying an electric skateboard. It's just... Well, that's what I think about it for you. That's what I want to see. An electric skateboard, maybe a drone. I was thinking both, actually. Because then I can kind of drive the drone from the skateboard and get some really get cool some angles footage, yeah. for my vlogs. Well, it's a shame that won't happen. Yeah. For now. The streets of Amsterdam are safe. If not just for a moment. Crims, though, he's about to be very unsafe unless he picks up this frag. There is potential for a two three man trade. Perfect flashbang from his teammate. What? That was a team flash that cost Santaris his life. And he, I was going to say, gets out scar free. No, Paz punishes. And he does seem to have the understanding that Flash would be there. And this guy is having a game. Spectacular from the first map. Top fragger, in fact. He's gone and got six already. A double kill to bring home the round five. Whether or not they can convert is a different question. It certainly is, Alex. It will be the four versus three now. Golden, Lecro, and JW up against the Golden in one of those one and done positions. They just have to hope that his position is overlooked, perhaps. Paz will be watching the danger area like a hawk. He's got the bomb by himself. Low HP as well. He needs to be very careful here. His teammates looking to maybe probe towards B and go for the A split here. Golden will fall back and lots of grenades thrown. This is an almighty fake coming in. Golden, though, aware of the possibility. He will be punished. What a great call here from Space Soul. He's throwing all that utility, pulling him away, and the bomb's ready and waiting to go at the A side. This is the reset round as well for the CTs. They need to be very careful here. They have to save the AWP and the M4A1S. Bomb plants with five seconds to go. Absolutely perfect. And now, with so much money available, take down the AWP. Why he doesn't turtle up in the B side, I couldn't tell you. He's got Lecro there protecting him. He can just hold the platform and He's have cover. Set. set for life. Said, let's bunny hop towards unknown territory, and indeed, it does not go unnoticed by Major. Necro's just going to be keeping hold of this one, and so I guess my, my next question is, what was your thing? You know, if it wasn't medieval. I was really good at them. Like, I really liked activities like yo-yos, diablos, pogo sticks, roller skates, the crazes. You did all the crazes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. I was really into the things like you actually had to do. Like, I wasn't so much into toys. I was really into like video games I'm and that you. sort of stuff. But like, something you could improve at. You like that. I mean, you, everything I wanted, you like, just named you can get yeah like things at. like you want to get you like that's why i like counter strike i guess as well because you're not improving a character or like an yeah, avatar yeah, yeah. it's, it's you. all your self improvement development ah. everyone's got the same thing and i guess like that's why i like those toys as well because i always wanted to just my out of all my friends i want to be the best you and you, can, and you can also not only are you competitive you can gauge yourself in, like, i think i wasn't good at sports but i was always really good at those sort of things like um anything that involves like holding something i was really good at badminton as well anything, anything like, that involves holding, holding, like, holding something in your hands you're like not necessarily your feet so much you know like okay, it's just like, it's, like you. something you can kind of hone yourself it's not that competitive in a sense that you're there with other people practicing but you can do it yourself and like you can personally be better than someone else yeah, yeah. i'm with you okay so i was always good at those sort of things i really enjoyed competitive that competitive nature yeah um then when cs came along and then everything was put on ice yeah and all and I suddenly to do. suddenly you have a really clear yeah for me it was at that point that I was just how like, good you are i could i could feel where counter strike was going i think i, I remember my first ever pro game i watched was nip versus sk on inferno in like 2003 Sheesh. and i was like that's what I want to do in my life. I was like, my friend told me that these guys are the best in the world. I get paid to play. I was like, what the hell? What do you mean? And I was like, I've got to do this. And then CZ came out. We had a discussion yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, then and that's, that's where you are zero. Now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, not the best stop. That, we are um, that came out. And then I, I just wanted to play every single day. Speaking of playing, it's going to be golden Ooh. in towards the drop down area. Doesn't get anything done. Santaras will meet him with one of the huge bullets of the AK. They're two scouts to work Why? with, Crimson Flusher. Uh, it's, it's a play, I guess. It's something. I mean, I'd be much more comfortable, especially on Cobble with it with a UMP. You could have even just a CZ yeah. and Kevlar and have more oh, money for the next the round. But it's Lecro with the Deagle. How many times have these words come out of my mouth in the space of this two hours? He's again doing damage. Admittedly, it does feel like it's going to be for naught. Other than the kill reward, unless his teammate's going to back him up. And look, it's repositioning. It was good, ah. unfortunately. <gasps> oh, Chris! Oh, and that could have been better with perhaps an SMG. Perhaps. And now that's the full investment from Fnatic falling by the wayside. And this scout will be saved with the armor. What a I guess... Um, skin. Oh, you left your hair back. Here, oh, thank you. Just in case you were looking for that. We'll keep that for later. And uh, we'll be getting into the next round momentarily. It's gone oh, really it's far. Weird. No one's it's, ever going to see that, that again. <laughs> never, ever going to see that again. It's gone into the, the guttering of the buildings in the wires. I mean, to be fair, if you've ever lived with a woman, you realize just how quickly any hair, it's, any it's, hair ties, It's pins, the little pins I find all over my house worst. all the time. Um, not because there's many women, there's one woman in there. Um, but it's like, it's it's just those things just seem to just find their own house. I found them in my backpack and I was like, I, 
I didn't pack these. This is not something I, I need. I don't How is this, need why is this present? Oh. So to all of you female viewers, just put them in one place. Take them out of your hair. Pop them in a little pot. In a pot, yeah. yeah. That'd be great. Not that on the coffee nice. table. It's like an organisational system for your hair. You can't see them on the coffee tables. The coffee tables are dark. Yeah. Yeah. I can't really see them, so it doesn't really work. Yeah. Perhaps we need to grow our hair out to actually fully empathise with the experience. But we are an eco, so we can continue our hair product talk. Are you any good at the pogo stick? I've never, ever never tried to pogo. been on a pogo stick. That's insane. Wait, I'm sorry. Have you? Are you a I'm seasoned a, veteran? I'm an aficionado for you the are? pogo stick. Yeah. I always thought it was like a death trap. Like it really didn't look like something no, that should it's like work. No, it's like you start off on like the, the there's entry level ones where you can like the spring's like, so small you're basically just jumping on your own. Okay. But you're just, it's just all about balancing, and then you move on to the kind of more stunt kind of pogo stick. It's got a spring about this big, Whoa. and you can jump like taller than I I, I stand. That's terrifying. Yeah, it's cool. You got, did you ever have one of the bags? I used ones? to have these things called Moon Boots. Right? I'm talking about the Antico. Oh, I've uh, heard about these. So you had them. My mum brought me them for Christmas. I had reasons I just explained. And it's basically big. Imagine big roller skates on your feet, but instead of wheels, there's this big like arch yeah. underneath it with elastic, and you jump around the garden um, in them. Um, they weren't as cool as they sound. Like they didn't really work that well, um, but they were pretty. It looked cool though. It was it was a cool thing. I'm pretty sure they used they put a lot of um, like when people they're doing CGI filming. Do you know what I think? That they wear them. I think we should get adult Heelys. I've looked into them. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> you sound so dejected by that. I looked Henry, into I know, so I've much. looked into them. Why? Why can't they be a thing? Uh, so there's no official Heely. Like, you don't get the official branded Heely. In adult adults. sizes. They don't do them in adult sizes. Why? There are, like, rip-offs from, like, Let's, Alibaba. Can we just get them? Can we try them out? I'm going to order some now. Okay, let's I'm do it. I'll I'll broadcast. I'm going to order some Heelys for us. Okay, after Me and you will turn up to an event. Imagine how cool we'd be. We could, like, when we... Oh, you're needed on the desk. You just glide over this entire way but how do you get momentum on them is it like a you, plate so you run on your toes when, run it, when you toe. run on like the front part of your foot you go <laughs> like, duh, 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 and then transition into the heel i think people would be really jealous if we turned out to i'm gonna turn the next year's elbow event and knee pads though. with <laughs> heelys on off you need a helmet <laughs> 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 oh, i'm just heading to the, the desk guys just clipping my helmet on <laughs> off i go <laughs> I really want to get adult Heelys. I was thinking about that in the shower the other day. I was like, why is that not a thing? Like, what, out of all the stupid things everyone's into in 2018, like eating Tide Pods and stuff, like, why are adults I don't think Heelys? that's something people are into. As I, much think it, as I think people... that's a craze. Yeah? Yeah. Either way, this is a very ropey buy from Fnatic here. It will be a mixture of SMGs, M4s, and very little in terms of the utility. 7-1 for the Space Soldiers. As they go into round number nine here, going for some basic control towards A. Drop down will be looked towards by Major. The other side, they'll be pushing the CDs back as much as they can. Zantaris gets boosted up on the T side. You very rarely see that, but it's quite smart. Just getting him up there, and it's a real difficult angle to preempt. To pre no one's going to be looking up there at all. He's just seeing if any orb comes exploring towards that side of the map, like or that. it could be a thing. I doubt we'll see it in action, but uh, you never know. Flash I mean, is thinking about it. Sh should they start making noise towards B? Hey, say drop. I mean, you can see actually one of the players is moving over there. It's going to be major. He's going to be throwing nades towards B. This is where Flusher maybe pushes for info, and indeed, edging. Quite going to be committing to it just yet, but it is interesting, and actually the timing's not quite going to work out. Zantaris has a chance, the trade should come in, and it does. Bomb still orientated towards A, and therefore that could be problematic, unless Paz finds that frag. He's not going to do so. Crims takes him down, and Major in the meantime does manage to draw blood on B. Bomb's going to be making a rotate with just 20 seconds left, and now all pressure riding on Golden and Crims. Their weaponry is not good, nor their health. Positioning, though, look at this. Golden's managed oh, to maneuver himself entirely around Major. Passed, and he's got the sight now. Albeit with an MP9. Nine seconds. This is problematic. This is bad. Time. Five seconds. Where's the bomb? They oh haven't got time. I don't God. think Golden could get the frag. Two seconds. They think they just get it in time. And that was a real oopsie from Major. Yeah, like the fact, because I guess he heard him towards connected going towards drop down. But his main job there was to make sure the bomb side is secure. Luckily, Golden makes a bit of an error himself. I go straight towards that upper platform. He sits by the behind the tree, perhaps. He really yeah, could have yeah. made things uncomfortable. But uh, he went towards the upper platform. They got the bomb down. And... There it is. Another eco for Fnatic. A1. Space Soldier's looking incredibly good. As we go into round number 10. Deagles. P50s. HE. And a B rush. Absolutely. That's my uh, dinner coming back up. <laughs> that was incredible. You dropped a sentence every hiccup. That was really cool. Nice work from Paz. Catches him off as he forces Lekker off position with the Molotov. Their weaponry. Severely limited, but this is Fnatic we're talking about. Never count them out when there's a Desert Eagle in play. Still creeping and crawling. It's great to see the way Space Soldiers approach these anti ecos or anti force buys, I should say. Half-buy. So many different terminologies. This is half-buy. Calyx, though. 
Works it down with the Mac-10. Does seem to be his weapon of choice when he knows there's going to be some unarmored opponents, and he's rocking it at the moment. Nine to one. Space soldiers, though, taking over the game. Kallax is taking a leaf out of Lecro's book. A huge kill discre discrepancy on both sides. 18 francs for him. The next highest at nine. Look how much he's contributing. He's actually got max money. That's always a nice feeling. You're Max money official game, you've got 16k. You're, like, you're, you're high rolling then, aren't you? You're really enjoying yourself. Take the guys out. Take the guys out for an all-you-can-eat meal. Down Jager bombs on me. TGI Fridays. Get down there and uh, get the all-you-can-eat buffet. Do they do all-you-can-eat at TGI? No. no. I've only been there. In my adult I life, actually, I've been there like twice. I actually find the servers really obnoxious. Like, they're just too happy. Like I think in America, they'd be fine. In, in England, it's I think they're, so they're trying to be American. So that's the problem. They're like yeah. trying to, they're really pouring it on a bit too thick because they're like, oh, in America is really good service. Ooh. Speaking of which, JW gives Paz a good servicing towards the upper platform and he will take him down. Poor smoke. I think there's a massive gap there. Yeah, JW will try and capitalize on that and he'll find the second kill. Five versus three. And we're going to have actually the second round for Fnatic here. Yeah, entirely off the back of JW. He's worked fantastically towards the long there. Despite the best efforts from Space Soldiers, they were smoking him, they were boosting and. Nothing could stop that man from hitting those shots. Double kill from him. And this is a huge round from Fnatic. Take a look at just how much they've got in left in the bank. You've got max money on one side, and you've got $200 on the other. Zero, in fact, for Lecro. It's quite scary when you hit the goose egg. And so they start their stroll. 18 to 2. Take note of his KD as well. Currently rocking a 9 KDA. That's madness, and that's maths, ladies and gentlemen. You like maths, do you? I'm really good at maths. I was really good at the shapes. <laughs> I don't know, wait, I need to specify. I'm not just talking about knowing really my shapes. I'm really good no, at the shapes. <laughs> okay. We'll wait for this round to go down, but then I will explain my efficiency with shapes. 19 seconds. This is shaping up to be quite bad, actually, for Space Soldiers. Look at that angle. It's so good for Crimson. It's an angle that always seems to net reward when the clock gets low. Just 10 seconds left, and Engine can just get, his hell, get the hell out of there. He doesn't need to take any more heads. He said, just offers his own. Nine to two though, and I was gonna like trigonometry stuff like that. Okay, it's not a theorem. As I liked anything. What which is this shape? You're like, I know that one. That's a circle. I've got it. <laughs> Alex, you really are good at the no, shapes. Visuals. Well I was gonna, like, it, like numbers I can't visualize. Okay. I can very easily visualize the the shapes in front of me. I like I do. I'm, I'm much better at things when I watch someone else do it. Like if it's if it's like IKEA oh, furniture or something like that, but it's watch someone how they've done it. I can really easily do it. Right, I'm really right, good. Replicate I'm, instructions. I'm, I'm bad at like looking at the instructions, like trying to decipher it myself. I'm really good at things like that. If I just see how someone else does it, first, copying. Goes, do this, do that, bang, 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 and I can do it really well. But if I have to stop putting things together and all that sort of thing, that's really wrong. But speaking of things going right, it's Lecro with the AK-47, as we'll see the first kill in this faster B approach from the Space Soldiers. We'll be looking like. Like he was going to fall away from them. Grim's still alive. Uncharacteristic aggression from Space Soldiers. Very rare to see them just on the site so soon. Caught us by surprise and supplies. And didn't quite catch Fnatic. They've got three left there. The Major not making them go down without a fight. No HP though. And he is really in a rock and a hard place. Oh, yeah, Golden's going to be hunting him down. And we do see three. So actually Fnatic, should they continue this pace, we could be seeing a rather competitive half. Bearing in mind, many consider this to be a bit of a T-sided map. So much map control, admittedly, afforded to the T's without a sing single second of gameplay. And so a 9-6, you've got a game on your hands. Anything further? This is when Space Soldiers win that pistol in the game. Yeah, over. remember, this is, I, I guess, considered a T-side map, one of the few in the pool. That you say that like with that. a bated breath, though. Um, because it it's, depends on the matchup. Like, if you, it okay. depends who's playing, um, what, in terms of like, their map pool, whether, which, whether they actually play and all that much. Drilled, guess, and whether they're the same kind of tier. You know, like, it's very difficult to just say a blanket statement. It's a T-side map. It's not in the same category as Nuke, where even a less, lesser team could sure, be better exactly. on CT. Sure, right, exactly. So, like, there's yeah. plenty of times you can actually see teams run away with the CD But side. in equal teams, in our hypothetical scenario... Yeah, it's it favoured towards be. the T's. Slightly so, less so because the steps were introduced. It really was before those steps came in on the B-bomb site. But either way, um, yeah, still looking very good for Space Soldier. They can get double digits on either side would be fantastic, especially right here, right now. I thought Calix was going to be throwing some magical smoke, trying to draw them out, but instead he does seem to just be keeping hold of that one. No, look, here we go. Okay, I'm intrigued to know if this is going to be the door smoke. Here's the one he lined up with the arrow and we'll see how that's gonna get the rest of his team there's three of them all set up poised for the push and they're just waiting for that go call 47 seconds and they are released and that smoke's flying high in the sky it's actually going to be jumping and landing just on the other side towards the statue it's a fantastic smoke to cross from platform but you have to get there and there's a problem jw is the problem 
Keo, eat your heart out, because now JW is managing to dance and escape himself. Smoke from the CTs this time is going to make him easily escape damage. And look at the damage done now. Lepro and JW, they're all doing the dirty. Double kill for him in the end. In fact, triple. JW takes him down, and we do have the fourth. This is what we were talking about. Things could get a little bit nasty for Space Soldiers. This lead that they've managed to acure is just going to be dashed, should things not work out here in I these last few rounds. might be right here. Money starting to dwindle now as uh, their pace certainly has dropped somewhat. They can be able to capitalize on this lead. Looks like 9-6 could be on the cards here. They do have one more full buy here, the AKs and all utility required as we get into round number 14 here, the dying sectors of the first half. Default round focusing towards A here. Very common to see a lot of teams run this one, push CTs back towards long A and middle, get them back in their spawn, if not find a kill. Flasher though, he doesn't really fall back too often. Lots of bullets being exchanged there, but no real damage inflicted on either side. If Santarizo comes out worse off, he'll be down to 73. Whoa, look at that score from Flasher. I hadn't noticed just how little we've seen from him. Three frags from It's been now 13, now 14 rounds of play. He gets himself his fourth. Santaris challenging from A from halls and now the question is what's the job of mr seven major is going to be getting a lot of information he can hear the rotates is very common from space soldiers and lecro is going to get a big fat warning major though nice positioning he does some damage and he's going to force golden off a a double kill from major he's done enough they're actually going to start considering taking that bomb away from a and calyx is doing his very best to keep them there they're going back and forth this this is Signature space soldiers. You send the in-game leader on his way. Yep. This time, they're doing that trumps. mirage as well. Yeah. You remember, towards that B area, it's always the in-game leader that can make the educated calls as to what information he gets. Especially if he gets two kills, he'll get a ton of information. But speaking of which, JW trying to get some himself. Looks towards that B platform. Can't quite connect the shot, and a second slips by him. He'll be punished eventually. And this is looking like a very promising round now for space soldiers secured by major just flush their remaining it's going to be the final round next he might as well see what he can do amazing for the fanatic boys they'll be going into the final round with a few compromises here but double digits like we said they get that space soldiers are in a very good stead to take the second map and the final map of the evening i should say round quick it has it all flies by this was a great round from major that first frag onto lecro is it's easy to forget about but very very instrumental in that round we would not be looking at double digits had that control from drop not been taken major single-handedly guiding that round towards the space soldiers camp and so yeah 10 to 4. i do like that there's a mag 7 in play you, you like that some, yeah you get some real crazy moments if everything works out you, uh, snacks is hold on long will is forever ingrained in my memory with that particular weapon if you start streaming in one by one the mag 7 does its job Get into round number 15. Can Fnatic pull this one together? I'll see if JW can get it done. Got to have the AWP towards middle. This time, no missing. Takes down Zantara's nice drag towards his body right in the chest. Dismembers him and it will be flush out. Looking for the double sprayed out here. Not going to really get much for that at all. Four and four, last round. Shotgun still up and about. Crims not really smoked off, but information and vision taken away what would you call that instead smoke they're gonna boost behind that again. so oh they're ready for it though jw just plucks off his head see you later good night tucks him in bed yeah got the double sheets yeah why do hotels tuck sheets in that much <clears throat> we'll never know not necessary it's i'm gonna sign for that i think i've shown that one to you what's that the sign for that oh yeah he gets <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see we watched that one two beds Remember, one untucked, <laughs> right. one tucked. Actually, actually know you know what? what? I'll, go, I'll go tucked, actually. Okay, remember, one tucked, <laughs> Lovely. one Thank you very much. not tucked. <laughs> it's really confusing. It's, it's great. George Costanza at his best. Yeah. Okay, uh, here comes Paz. He's been doing this an awful lot, and it's rewarded again, admittedly traded. It's not always been the case. And so the advantage stays with Fnatic, but look at position of Grimm's just creeping and crawling, and it's going to net him a frag. Engine has the bomb and the sight. This has come out of nowhere. A little bit of absence of map awareness from us, but... He's got the bomb down, but can he do anything with it? That's the question. JW no. getting there before the smoke arrives. It was a nice attempt there by Engine, and it will be a 10 to 5. Um, still anyone's game, believe it or not. Fnatic certainly capable of giving out equal measures of uh, destruction on Ooh, the terrorist forces. We'll see what happens. As we will go 10 to 5, take a little bit of a calm down here. Maybe we can reflect on some of our um former interested child <laughs> seems to be our main topic of conversation no no it, absolutely it? not we can move we can move into a completely different topic which is a very interesting one okay. um, i'm thinking of it as we speak um cannons cannons yeah i wasn't really into pirates when i was younger we should play that game though. 
what the uh lots of games should be playing yeah it looks like fun well the thing about oh, it's got no content though they've added a kraken so everyone's getting hyped oh i love red kraken yeah I, i'm gonna let that game like wait till i have like two weeks off and then when they've got all the content in there everyone's kind of the people it's who want to play it the people who don't want to play it kind of all the updates have happened and everything's ready to go then i'm gonna get my uh, telescope out and i'll just be scouting the seven seas yeah yeah you'll be there on the cannon I'll be down in the decks. I'll just oh, be you doing. Strike a, me as more yeah, of a I'm, I'm just going to be kind yeah. of like in. I was about to say the engine room. There's no engine. I'll yeah. be down in the poop deck. The poop deck. Yeah. Yes. Kind of uh, and raising the flag. I learned a really harrowing fact about pirates and, and general ship travel. Okay. I learned that we lost an entire species of turtle. Okay. Why? The large, the huge turtles, because they were perfect for meals that survived on ships for the long journeys, because you could turn them upside down their backs and they couldn't get back up. So they would basically just force feed them, keep them alive on their backs, and then they could eat them when they needed to for fresh food. <laughs> there you go. So that's uh, cheery to start off the pistol round. Look at the stats. They're not giving, oh, excuse me, the odds, not giving any hope for Fnatic at this point. Admittedly a 10-5 half, but you wouldn't want to write them out. These guys are prolific. Now they find themselves on the T side. This is when they can really do their best work, and Golden's been doing a fantastic job. It does seem like the fragging from him has been stepped up a notch ever since that roster rumor was spread. Potentially cutting out their leader that just brought home a million dollars. Certainly would have been looked on as foolish, but this is not. Fnatic will pick up themselves up the pistol, and we've got a game on our hands. Certainly do. Well played to Fnatic, nice and quick towards the A-bomb. So they're dropping through the window in the connector, having one player towards middle as well. Works out perfectly, just overwhelming the CTs. We've got USPs in the hands, close range, the Glock will always prevail. And we'll find ourselves at 10 to 6 now. Fnatic will be buying out the AKs. We are going to see... An investment from space soldiers here, the Deagles, the PT-50, CZs, etc, etc. And we'll get into round number 17 here. CZs ready and waiting towards middle. It's unlikely the CZ prevail here, everyone else. It's not that sort of map. You don't really see some crazy CZ victories yeah. in this one. If you had to kind of make a list, I think it'd probably be at the bottom. The likes of Inferno yeah. up there, probably. Even Mirage, if they end up on B. Cash can be a bit naughty as well. So... You're right, the CZ really it does lose a lot of its potency unless they walk into your crosshairs at door. It's one of the few locations you really can do a lot of damage with that pistol. And admittedly, Fnatic are going to take this nice and slow. They're not interested in any mistakes. They know how it feels to get eco'd. But that second round by, you can see they're quite conservative as well. Notice how two of them are saving, which could indicate we're going to be seeing that double orb. It's something they brought out on their CT side of Mirage as well. Nice and stacked, the Space Soldier's way. They know that their uh, best chance is to have the element of surprise. However, you wouldn't believe it when you look at that map. Fnatic are going in the complete opposite direction. They will get a weapon out of it, though. That's the slight difficulty with this 4-1 split from the Ts. They now know everything. They know not only to rotate, they have a weapon for that retake. And actually, if they do this quick enough... They're just going to save their PT-50s oh. and shit, it? Yeah, they could potentially be doing that for sure. The shizzle. And Santares gets one. He's using that AK. He said they would save it, but at the moment, he knows that if he doesn't overextend, that's going to be able to be scavenged by his teammates. Why not do a bit of damage along the way? Perhaps even throwing it over towards engine. In fact, yep, there we go. His armored opponent, or rather his armored teammate, will have another shot at this one. Apologies. 10 seconds. Where's the bomb? Apologies, that's well. It did slip out. It does happen to the best of us sometimes. It does. Absolutely, it does. And it will be Crimson Flush out to finish Run. things off there. Three on one, Santares with the AK 47. He'll be falling back. I thought they were going to save absolutely everything there, falling back towards the B site. And uh, not going to be the case, though. Zantares will just be holding on to the AK. But if ever there was a player to make something happen with that weapon into the next round, he would probably be it. He'll be trying to save everything he can. He's got a CZ in his holster as well. If he can manage to save that, he can drop that to a teammate. So they'll have a CZ and an AK. So it won't yeah. be the end of the world. Certainly not. And uh, we <coughs> still haven't decided what, we, what we're going to call the one AK round. Admittedly, not the second. It's not exactly what it would be. No. But have you have you landed on anything? I've always called it the tactical purchase. The tactical purchase. What did, it is. What did Jason call it? He had a name for it, and it was, like really, it was like the Yoda or some absurd pop culture reference. It was like... No! The, Bumblebee! It was the Bumblebee from Transformers. Yes, okay, guys, I'm going Bumblebees. I'm going Bumblebee. What a ridiculous All right, man, let's, yeah, let's pull a Bumblebee. He's just a transformer. He didn't do anything. He doesn't by have anything to do with an AK. <laughs> <laughs> it's or just having a transformer is based on a Chevrolet. Uh, I like those cars. Dodge Chargers. I'm a sucker for those. Well, the American muscle the American cars. American muscles. Yeah. 
don't have a license, of course, to shut the hell up. Alex, and indeed, it will be Zantara's to shut so them up. Damage. Have another one. Look at this, just one AK. And Space Soldiers are thriving. Zantara's is thriving. I should correct myself, because now, with that weapon lost, their chances start to fade. Unarmored, ungeared. They haven't even got a weapon. Unequipped to convert Zantara's. Damage indeed, pass caught on the flank as well. Flush up, He's just playing the waiting game, and this is perfect from Fnatic. And after an early slip up, two players with a fraction of a second to react, and that will be another than Fnatic closing that gap. We did say we've got a full game on our way, and it is delivering. Well, there we have it. What's a synonym for hot? Um, boiling, a boiling match of the week. Um, I always just say the piping hot match, piping hot, yeah. Piping hot just makes me think of soup. Nothing else is piping hot. Only soup is piping um, hot. Um, no. If I touched uh, a car bonnet and you went, ah, it's like piping hot. You mean the hood? Sorry, the hood. Like yeah. the hood of a car, yeah. Um, or if... It's piping There's not hot. many things that are piping hot. I guess it's morning food. It's food. You're probably right. It? Like, oh, it's piping hot. Come Ooh. get it. What's this one thing? Why, why are mum so offended hot. when you like, you say, your food's getting cold and all those sort of things? Like, I'm the one who's going to eat it. I'm the only problem oh, person who's going to be... I'm the only now. person who's going to be upset like that. I disagree. So I'm fine with it. Are you, well, are you fine with it? Because it doesn't matter. I get it. No, I get it. Because I, you know, when I, I cooked and then someone showed up late for my meal, I was like, I've invested a lot of time into this. You have to eat it when it's at its best. It was okay. my time investment. It's very inconsiderate. Well, I'm just upstairs. There's fish fingers and chips waiting downstairs. Okay, if it's fish fingers and chips, but if I've made an effort and I've made you some couscous and a nice curry. Some pasta, some pesto. Yeah, well, not really pesto, butter. more like just chopped up basil leaves. You know, like <coughs> if I've made you a real nice meal, Yeah, I'd expect you to respond. Anyway, Counter-Strike is about to go down. I like the boost. We haven't seen this. Centaurus does feel like a very mobile player. You rarely see him in the same place more than once. Minor adjustments from him. W does miss that shot. That was his chance to get themselves crack into that round. Nice flash from Major will be evaded. In fact, caught Fnatic's own. He does get forced off position. Now a little bit of control being taken. Assuming Coop is clear, and he is right to do so. Golden draws first blood. Kalix down in drop. Will this start and instigate the push? It will, and bye-bye Zantares. Now all onto Major. He's only going to get the one and finishes what Kalix started, and now down to Engine. And it won't be Ooh. good news. Crim's fantastic round from him. Three in quick succession, and Paz is out of there. Clutching yeah. onto his Zumi. Not really much he can do with that one. Crim's really getting it done now. They're going to find the 4-0 here. Like I said, 10-5, never over, especially Fnatic on the server. No reason why they can't do it all the same. Back to Space Soldiers. There will be three of them surviving. Paz desperately clutching onto his AWP here. And like we said, if, if you save an AK or an AWP, there's always a chance you could win the round just through one big play from an individual. I do think it's crazy, like, when you kind of break it down and think about it, just how quickly leads can vanish because of the because of the pistol rounds because of yeah. the economy system you really can i mean th bearing in mind this is going to be now four right this was their first weapon round now they're going to have another eco we're going to be looking at a fanatic completely equalizing after a 10-5 half they worked so hard for that 10-5 and yet losing that pistol and having one shot one shot at a weapon round they will find themselves back to square one certainly do this has to be the eco now after four zero you don't really have much of a choice to buy anything pistols in the form of PT-50 and a Deagle. We'll see whether this will lead to anything else. I'm not sure it will. No armor, no nades for the CTs. Molotov's in. Looking like Crims is going to add a few more kills to his tally here. Three players towards a long. Now, just need to close things out here. Looking for 10-10. Absolutely, they are. Looking to equalize, looking to keep things level. And it should be a guarantee, truly. I mean, they haven't got that Lecro curveball that Fnatic have on rounds like this instead. Admittedly, he has do some great stuff with his USP, but usually against opponents that aren't quite as packed to the nines with gear. Santaris could be tested with that Deagle. He is in a prime position to at least take one. It's just going to be that balaclava head that will present itself. Balaclava, what a word. It's a lovely word. Isn't it? Rolls off the tongue. Balaclava. Balaclava. Whoops. I'm about to say, speaking of balaclava, there's no real... <laughs> That's not really your thing, is it? There's not really anything you can do with that. Yeah. They'll be going towards the B-bombs. That's all I'm going to say. There will be one player in towards the Hobbit hole. That will indeed 
Beam engine. He'll see if he can get anything done. Zantara oh. certainly can. Looking for a third of the Deagle. It's made to pick up the third kill, and he'll get a second at that same time. It's a three versus one. It's all gone wrong. They're pretty much fully committed. Some CZs and a Deagle. That was about it. No armor, no nades, and Flusher is finding himself in an impossible situation. He'll get one before he is smothered and put to sleep by Kalix there. What in God's name has just happened there? The Deagle is really coming into the forefront in terms of the weaponry. We, didn't, we had about a two-year break from the Deagle. Didn't really do so, too much at all, and now it's just back with Fully. a vengeance. Yeah, I mean, I was talking about it. I said Zantaras, he should get one. Little did I know, a second very quick from Zantaras, and that was enough. Major was there to trade. He did the necessary body damage, and just like that, Space Soul just find their first round of the second half. It's going to be breaking... That 10-5 start on the first, now into 11-9, they get the first, that's important. Whether or not they can follow that up, though, remains to be seen. A bit more of a standard default setup now from Fnatic, they need to kind of just do a wake-up call. And what on earth is this from the CTs? Jay, you can hear them and he's gonna kill them! What is this from Space Soldiers? They're like, take us, take us now! Charging, no nades needed, straight up that... Perhaps a missed call. Well, they, I assume they had the smoke in the mouth of the entrance of the upper platform there. And they're just trying to isolate one player. But Lecro bravely comes through and backs up his team after throwing a flash. And it comes out very well for them. Fnatic do lose a load of HP, but they get two kills for it. Five versus three now looking to reset the CTs. Remember, they did win an eco yeah, before that. That's really catastrophic for Space Soldiers in the grand scheme of things. And Paz is sitting there holding a long like, what just happened? I will pick up the pieces here, boys. Kalix has managed to position himself. Positively, but oh no, here they come. A flood of Fnatic. Admittedly, they are low. Look at that. 31, 12, 2. Fractions of health that could be finished off by Kalix. He's already taken one. But that will be all. As he was hatching that play out left over on B, the remnants of their approach towards B. And now they go hunting. Lekra has got his uh, hunting hat on. Don't know what that means for that. I feel like the hunters wear hunting hats. hat. It's a special hat. Is there? Yeah, like Sherlock Holmes, is, that's a hunting hat. Is it? When he's hunting for clues? No. That's okay. not a hunting hat. Hunting hat, I'm just going to type that in. Hunting hat. Okay, quick. I was visualizing something, I'm not seeing a lot of hunting hats in my... Uh... <laughs> I know what you're visualizing. I know Do you what know what I'm mean. seeing? Yeah, like, like a, maybe like a, a wax hat, like a kind of green on top with like a yes. brown or a black like corduroy. You see what I'm talking about? That's, yeah. In my mind, that's what a hunter wears and that's yeah. what Lecro was wearing in my okay. metaphor. Thank okay. you. Nice. Well, it will be another round falling away. We'll go into the next one, round number 22. Space soldiers maintain their lead, at least for now, as we head in to another buy. We'll be space soldiers with limited resources here. CZ for engine. Samataras. Let's get the M4. Like, that's how it should be done. The in-game leader major is like, you know what? I've got this M4, but you throw me your pistol. I'll take that. I'll be fine. Yeah. And that's the way it should be done. We didn't see so much of that from Happy, for example, earlier. Now, they've made an interesting change up. Because Paz has got the weapon, he's actually been sent over to a bit more distant angle and he's got an engine to support him now so that a crossfire is going to be a, li a little bit of extra deadly as cz close quarters of course does plenty looking for their 12th centaur is in a very aggressive angle and he's not going to be rewarded look at that from lecro that should be all the damage they need. They've taken not only the best player from Space Soldiers out, that's one of the weapons, there's only two of them in play. And as they say that, it looks like they have done some shopping. Major got himself the M4 from Zantares. Kalix had the AK. Five versus three, Alex. Remember, they came into this with two pistols. Both those pistol players have been taken down. Zantares did have the M4. It's picked up by a teammate, Paz. The AWP, one more in the bag. That was important. However, that does mean they're going to start flooding in towards there. He's going to have to sort of kind of kooky retake position now. And just as I say that, that's actually going to be the lead of JW with one. Nice work through the smoke, though. Kalix is not going down without a fight. Spectacular. Looking for a second, and well, Crims is having absolutely none of it. That Comes lead down. about to be gone again. 10 to 5 into 11 11. Inseparable, these two teams. I mean, it was uh, the Same smallest story. of margins a that mirage. got the Mirage. And yeah. Same scoreline, you're right. This is actually where Fnatic managed to break forward. It's been a bit of a role reversal here. Whether or not Space Soldiers can do what they received on the map one. 
Different question. I wanted to ask you something quite important. Okay. There was obviously an event on the internet this week that obviously captured the imagination of the uh, online world. And, uh, Which oldest, event was that? Uh, the kids yodeling in Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what did you think about that? Like, Do you think that was as iconic as everyone's making it out to be? I mean, I think that there is potential for it to truly okay. you know, take the world by storm. I don't think it's quite there yet. In fact, I think a lot of people watching are going to be very confused about what's being discussed. Okay. Yodeling kid Walmart are the three words you need to put into the internet to find it. It's actually my favorite thing in the world right you're now. You're really into it. Like <laughs> you're really promoting it. it. I yeah. actually think like you're kind of... He's got an interview going on as well now. Like, it's oh, is kind he, of has he made it to Ellen? Yeah, it's all, he's coming on Ellen next week. Oh, I'm certain of that. Oh, yes. um, so that'll be a thing. So watch out for that. Yodeling kid at Walmart. Captured our hearts and imaginations and showed us that the internet can provide some good sometimes. Glorious to see the art of yodeling not being lost as the uh, technology <laughs> age takes over. I mean, truly, it's good to see someone upholding it at such a young age. It's lovely. Hi, hi. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to cosplay as Yodeling Kid at um, ESL One Cologne 2018. Yeah, if you get an invite. If I get an invite, That's I'll, sick, I'll, be, I'll be cosplaying as him. Have you, uh, will there be any yodeling? Like, will that be part of your? I'll costume? learn it till then. I've got a bit of a sore throat right now, so I can't really do it right okay. now. Usually, I'm able to do it. Oh, talking time. of like practicing as well. Talking about you know getting good at something. Uh, how's your um, preparation going? For what? Marathons, running. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm so <laughs> glad you asked. <laughs> You must, you must have been keeping up with that. And, uh, oh, yeah, that was excellent. Prep. Yeah, it's going really well, actually. I've done one run. Um, okay. So that went pretty well. Um, I should get 10k under my belt. 10k, though, that's nice. Yeah, so you're um, actually you're pretty much there. You only have to do like two and a half. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be fine. Speaking of fine, Flash is getting headshots all over the place. Four versus three. We're coming towards the last few rounds of this particular map. Major. We'll have his workout out for him here. Yeah? He'll have smokes deployed in front of him though whoever wins this round i was about to say friends of but actually fanatic got a ton of money it's actually space soldiers that are grasping at straws right now you see the four versus three not much money at all on the ct side they have got the man advantage for now though will is it will it be enough though with no kits no awp to win a round crims will might fire a shot as he jumps down not even going to do that just jumps down makes a drop he knows it and if we're looking towards another platform not spotted just yet but calyx obviously aware of the potential danger He's got his eyes locked on it. It is going to be his responsibility. Major smartly upgrading to the AWP. That enables him to cover drop much more effectively. And there it is. Proof is in the pudding. He takes the frag on towards Crims. And that leaves just Lecker and Golden just for the scraps. Then miles away from each other. Lecker will draw blood though. That Santara's down. A big scalp to take as they continue their advance. And I say they, I do mean him. Just Lecker at the moment as that bomb is on a bit of a whirlwind tour of cobble. Nice positioning from Lecro, and he gets another one. This man is single-handedly making this round winnable. 13, becoming a possibility now. He is low. He's paid a heavy price for his frags. Two to his name, and down to six. Getting close would enable that one swift headshot to be made, and he's applying the necessary pressure here. He is getting pushed out by Major, though, with a bomb to just go down. Fnatic, they've, been put them they've put themselves in a winnable scenario, but their health is so limited. Golden applying some pressure towards Major. Major does connect with the USP. Golden, one versus two. Again, though, Alex, he won this before. He's looking to win it again. He certainly has a chance, but one that will not be realized as Kallax takes him down, and it will be all tied up again. This is why it's the hot match of the week, ladies and gentlemen. Neck and neck. The tug of war continues, and that was a must-win round for Space Soldiers. That could have been catastrophic. They gave that one up. No money remaining. But still, they'll be fully invested into the next round, so not out of the woods just yet. Not just yet. I do have to give a lot of credit to Lecro. This series alone has been proof that he really can deliver in the franking department he's always been a question mark we know what crims is capable of we've seen flusher and Vita very recently crims has been having a great turn of form jw 18 frags right now and lecro great mirage and coming in towards cobble he's just very close very close to bringing that round home for fanatic couldn't quite find that last frag towards balcony and so a technical pause is being called which is always a intriguing term never know exactly what kind of time lies in front of us. I've got yeah. hunting hats on my screen. Well, right we now. can, this is always so good for us. It means we can really show our true personality, kind of bring the discussion to something else completely different on okay. a tangent. Um, <clears throat> so it, it always is the, the best time to kind of explore your mind, I think. Yeah, Alex. or yours. No, I, mean, I think yours either, is, yours is funny. Yours is interesting. Your, your mind is funnier, I think. Looking into your past and all the things you did back in the day with the guys is yeah, always I my mean, favorite thing. I'm glad to I can laugh about. now, you know? <laughs> Back I in the day. You were about to tell us something earlier. We got distracted by something. You were about to get into something really... Was it the evil stuff? 
Yeah, I, I think maybe be medieval stuff or there's something more tantalizing than that. But I've got to, I was like, I've got to get him to talk about that again when we get the chance <laughs> because you know, your childhood really was quite quite a interesting yeah. one. It was all these different ideas. It was like a, a melting pot of all these different hobbies I did lack identity. and sports I'm gonna and be honest. instruments and everything really was just throwing them there, mixed around, and nothing really stuck. You no, haven't got any hobbies anymore, really, have you? Um, no, truly not. Uh, gaming, I play games. Games. Yeah. What else do you, are you into? Um, I'm into uh, graphic design. As in, not my doing it myself. I really enjoy. Sure, it. Like, like I can appreciate like the, good design. Sure, like they like kind of. You obviously came with your logo and all that sort of thing. You worked sure. some guys on that. Um, so you like graphic design. So in terms of hobbies, I guess it's difficult with this kind of lifestyle. You can't really. I mean, my hobby is traveling the world and talking about games at the moment. That more of a job, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, it's a hobby I'm paid for. In sure, my mind. I get that. Um, I'm just thinking like you're, you're really into those like finger skateboards. I don't think many people know that. No, about that's you true. Well. That's actually a big part of so, my life. So like tech decks, I think they were called back in the day. Alex actually has one of the Europe's biggest collections of tech decks. So it's actually really cool. It doesn't really talk about it that much. Be modest, but he actually has the Guinness <laughs> World Record for most tech decks in one um, house in Amsterdam. I think. Which no, is that's true. yeah. Actually, I'm, I'm thinking about opening it up as a museum, hiring a space, and just like okay. people come. But I mean, like what you people don't know well, about like you, kind of Hank, actually, is whilst I do have the biggest collection of tech decks, you, okay. you're, not, you're quite the collector yourself. I have five. Like, no, I'm no, no. In... I mean, admittedly, you bought them just because uh, you took an interest in my <laughs> okay, hobby. Sure. Yours, yours is actually much more interesting because I don't oh, know I how someone doesn't lose their mind with such a large, vast collection of Furbies. I mean, I don't know how Look, you... the Furby craze, it came and it went. But there's still a few of us that are diehard yeah. fans and... Obviously, there's been different generations of Furbies. I prefer the original, the very best one. You put your finger on the tongue, feed it, and it can basically spout They were out very loud. I always felt like they were a bit obnoxious. You know they? what? I actually have punched a Furby before. I'm not proud of him. I've done it. <laughs> wow. I, because I, I remember can one you night. Walk me through the story. So I know I've got like a, I don't know, I'm in school. I've got like to be up early tomorrow as usual. Yeah. Oh, so you're at, yeah, I work in the you're nine, not at school. I'm currently. working the nine to three at school. You yeah, know how it the is. The nine to three. Um, I'm Eight trying to get to sleep, and all of a sudden, the Furby's kicking off. Mum's going to get mad. Well, the thing is, at this point, after like six months having the Furby, you're like, well, I can't board you now, the cupboard. Yeah. Kind of just keep you shut up in the dark. But the thing is, they're quite clever. They they want to make you play at the Furby all the time. Keep it in your head, always in your mind, get the accessories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's in the cupboard, and I can hear it going, mm, me sleepy. Oh, yeah. That's actually incredible. I mean, yeah. I guess as a collector. Uh, well, no, I always know the dialect and everything. I speak Furby. And so, um, <laughs> um, so he's in the cupboard, and I, like, I open up the cupboard and say, look, You'd spoke trying to, to sleep right now dialogue. with their voice recognition. I don't call you That's people. true, yeah, of course. Turn it upside yeah. down, give him a good frolicking, like, look, mate, be quiet, sleep time now. And he goes, oh, okay. Put him back down. Oh, he listened. Didn't. Good. Well, he, I thought he listened and went back to bed. Didn't. I, I really you do regret this, and I, I take, I, I know what I'm doing, putting myself out there by saying this live on air, but I took the Furby out of the cupboard, punched it right in the chest, like, as hard as I could. The electronic shattered, the outer cave. Yeah. completely destroyed the structural integrity of the Furby, completely dismantled. And uh, we found ourselves in a position where I thought I had to start collecting them to make up for my past actions. Yeah, and so that's how I've led myself to have over 200 Furbies in London. Oh, I'm, oh you surpassed 200. Our last time we spoke yeah. was about 18, yeah. uh, 18 Why 19. did you get the chocolate mint um, Furby? You didn't. Yeah. Well, and the Beanie Baby collab? And the Beanie Baby collaboration with the official tags. All right, well, we're jumping back in. TY for that. That's a beanie baby joke. <laughs> oh, that's All not right. Bad. Let's get into this one. 144. We start a brand new round. We're back into the action. Technical pause has elapsed. And now we get to watch JW pushing through a Molotov of smoke and potentially finding a frag. He's going to be dancing with Major, and Major's having absolutely none of that. Hits him with his laser. Five to four. Bit of a split from the T's. You can see Fnatic just going to be going this kind of two man split. Some killer pairs. Engine about to be pressured and he's playing anti-flash. I'm not sure whether he wants to actually fight this. He looks like he's going to scarper. He'll use that smoke to his advantage. And talking of smokes, he's going to deploy one of his own. But this is problematic. He is just, it's more of a likelihood at this point. Engine will be eliminated and that does level things out. Now Fnatic can take the foot off the gas just a little bit. And wait for the CTs to try and reposition. Antares does so with a frag though. Golden downs. Antares actually messing up his smoke. That's not going to go well for him. It's going to go well for Major, though. Crim's down. Now Lecro's trying to silently exit from drop room. Not an easy maneuver, especially when there's a player right next to him. He does do so, though. Look. Two backs turned. Bomb loose towards X. First. Nice. Now chooses to reposition, expecting a player close. Centaurus reveals his location. The wallbang could be his ticket out of here and does damage, but receives some as well. 
shoots out the vent. A little sneaky move here, but Zontera is one step ahead of him. It's looking like Space Soldiers are coming back into this game, and they're talking more financially right now. They've won a couple of rounds in a row, but now they're looking a little bit more stable. You know, they're going to have players surviving this round, whittling down the Fnatic uh, economics as well. This is going to be anyone's game. This has got overtime written all over it, Alex. As is tradition in the Pro League in the final map of the evening. We like to make sure we give away. all the fun, all the rounds to everyone at home. It's the whole match of the weekend. I wouldn't have it any other way. 16 kills is done, but 21 deaths. Not his best game by any stretch. But he has had his moments, absolutely. Paz with the AWP. Not the same story for Fnatic. Kind of down to this, the SMG here. Once again, <clears throat> whoever loses this round is down to an eco. This is Space a Soldiers determining winner. round. This could be the end of the game if Space Soldiers win this round. So That's much it. power it on one round, so much Whoa. weight attached to it. But Engine, he's going to eat that flashbang. He's getting all of his utility out, trying to delay them. But no, he's caught it. He ate that flashbang for breakfast, and he's going to be eliminated. Lecro will upgrade his weapon, but at a heavy price. Crims falls. Paz quick to reposition, and will do so now as he does dart back towards the A site. And as I say that, continuing some aggressive positioning. Expecting a player towards long and does catch him. Flusher down. He's doing a fantastic job of keeping this site safe and maybe just taking his team across that finish line. Kalex packs up, up, backs him up as well. Now just Lecro and JW, but it's Lecro. This man's been having a great game. I think he's ready. He's only got 13 HP, but he's feeding the situation out. But so is JW. That's a miss spray. That was an easy shot by his standards. Overcommitted with the 30 bullets. And now Lecro doesn't look quite possible now. No bomb planted spells disaster for Fnatic. They have to buy here. And they've got about 3k per player. Tactical timeout, almost certainly. You need it. Time to do some serious number crunching. You do, do you want it? It's the same scenario as Mirage. This is almost a complete replica. And they will go for the safe option. Looks like they're going to be playing. Oh, as I say that, no Kevlar does match it. They'll have about 2k in their bank. They'll be able to at least put up a fight. Should this get to match point? And it is a should because keep your eyes on these guys. They're going to group it up. They have just a couple of nades to trickle in towards the site. Crimson's already let his go early, as has that smoke. You imagine they're going to be flooding in towards that B bomb site drop room in particular. And yes, indeed, but Loku's who's there to receive them. Kalix greets them with a double. And Antares unable to do anything. Hank, hold your breath. Fantastic, got three. They're making a CZ Kevlar round work. They really are. Paz, the last line of the defense, but it couldn't be more awkward for him. AWP towards the stables. He has spotted a couple of them now, so no surprises as he nails the shots. Two versus two now. He has the advantage. Krim slips by towards the bomb site. He has not got the bomb. Golden stuck with that, but what? not for long. It's Paz who crumbles slightly as Major comes in. Can he clutch this one out and guarantee a victory for his team? Looking for match point. And it's going to be Crimson and Golden equipped with rifles, but maybe not for long. Oh, Major, you got to hit those ones. Incendiary will come through. If he finds a kill through that, it could be something. It could be enough. Flushes him out, but it actually ends up with his demise. Oh, my goodness. That Can you free. believe it? And now, back and forth, it goes Fnatic with the financial advantage after winning with the CZs. This Golden has got two letters written all over it in various colors of Sharpie marker. O and T. Right, whoever's been sat at this desk, can you stop taking sips out of one How carton? do you know which one's yours? I don't, Harry brought th four of these out. He's like, his system, I, from what I can gather, <laughs> have a sip of this one. Okay, oh, fresh one, one, he likes, the, yeah, he likes the crack. He likes oh, the crack yep. of the bottle. Now this one, I'll just make sure no one can have any water at the desk. Pro tip as well, I don't know which one's yours. Without a wing. That's a good idea. Oh, I'm really oh, really nice. sorry, Golden. Um, you're okay. not going to get that as a highlight reel. Yeah, that's not going, <laughs> that's in, the not going, movie. Not going in the frag um, movie. <laughs> so we were talking about water bottles there. Um, admittedly, I, I don't want to point fingers. There was one caster in particular that decided to go down that tank. I feel like the play-by-play -play caster really would be keen. responsible for those sort of moments. Um, it's fine, but... This is a big round now. 14-14 and Golden after we'll, a complete we'll, we'll massacre. Be here. We'll be here. You're right. Standing up. Incredibly important round. Oh! What on earth was that from Paz? Catches one early. An early aggression from Flusher has been greeted by a bullet from that Arctic Warfare police rifle. I didn't know the P was police. Hmm. I thought I know what AWM is, Arctic Warfare Magnum. Yeah. I didn't know it was Arctic Warfare. Arctic. Police variation. Let's wow. have a look. Okay. It does look like we're going to be seeing early aggression from Lecro. The bomb's miles away from him. This is just trying to get the feelers out there, and this time it's going to be greeted by Major. He's been keeping... Good tabs on platform and partner partnership with Zantares. Not off close. That's going to be Golden just trying to get as much information as he can without the cost of his life. Kalix holding an e box. 
been talking about this partnership between Major and Centaurus. It's about to be tested, and this time they pass with flying colors. Every man still standing for space soldiers. It's such a crucial round. And now just Crimson JW. What can you do? The answer is nothing. Another headshot. This time's Antares to make the eyes roll. This is looking very good, isn't it? It's gonna be, you know he's gonna hit that. Absolutely. Zero doubt in my mind. <laughs> yeah. Charging forward though, 40 seconds, Major. Gonna give him another fight, but he wins it. Major's been doing fantastic work. Not the fraggy you look for in Space Soldiers, and yet delivers. 21 for him, 31 for Kallax, and a match point. Fnatic situation is fine. They're gonna get to see an actual, a real weapon around as they battle to take us into overtime. Hank's already just decided it's going to be overtime so i, guess I think it probably is i think on. we all know it. fanatic got a full buy here they opt for the awp we'll see if they can do it it will be mr3 16k actually in uh, pro league the thing is whoever takes it to overtime will be getting less points even when they begin oh my god it could be lecro to decide it zantara is absolutely wrecked there as he goes down courtesy of a headshot from the ak five versus four major to try and step up here looking good for fanatic as more damage is inflicted towards major Whoa. overtime looking likely as we hit the one minute 20 mark here five versus four still major trying to do what he can and they're poised and ready to end up towards the B side. They always can fall back. It's the good thing about Cobblestone, especially with a player towards top and mid. CTs with no presence whatsoever towards the drop down area. It will be Crims to Molotov in, try and push anyone back. That could potentially be on the other side. Like we said, it is clear. And now, 60 seconds. The Calyx and Major will be holding the B bomb site. This is breaking point. This is where the tests begin. They've still got Flusher over towards A and a bit of info play coming in from Major. Whether or not that's going to be misinformation though, because he didn't see anything towards B. He's pushing up. This is good. 45 seconds. Playing anti-flash. We'll catch the first here, likely. Lecro down, but can the trade come in? Of course it can. Golden. Trying to keep Fnatic in this one. 4-3 to three, then. As that OT looking more and more likely. Kalix is the one that can dash the dreams though. 30 seconds remaining, Alex. Four versus three. Time running out for Fnatic. They really need to get a skate on. This kill is crucial. Kalex comes out on top. This could be it now. They've leveled the playing field even more so now. Space Soldiers take the advantage. They're about to cross the finish line. Golden left in the two versus one. He's won a few of these before. Time not on his side, though. Still not even planting that bomb. We'll have to try and get it down in the smoke. That's when they'll start pushing on his position. He is going for the full plant. Engine and Kalex pushing through and across the line as Engine will finish things off there. Great finish, it got very exciting there, and it lives up to the expectation of the piping hot match of the week there. Fantastic stuff, and Space Soldiers will split the series one to one there, Alex. Incredible stuff, yes indeed, managing to get themselves that 3-3 point split, and we get to see more and more from Space Soldiers. I thought Mirage was a pretty good fight, and now they get to get themselves a nice split series. Absolutely, that was a lot of fun actually, that was actually great Counter-Strike in terms of the fragging action, the back and forth tug of war that was going on throughout the series, so great stuff, and Space Soldiers is living up to the expectations and we know they're getting a better yeah. team overall and they're looking pretty good in product so far finding points all over the place i'm sold i am yeah. i'm a space soldiers fan i like the logo i like the players and i like the gameplay and now i'm going to take a stroll thanks hank see you later see you in a bit all right st 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 street jack what a bloody hot match of the week that one wasn't was, it Alex? piping hot some would say i loved it i was on the hot tamale train i think it's a reference from a tv show hot so you think tamale, you can dance hot tamale we do a lot of talking about dancing here, but uh, Alex, I got one key point I want to make okay, straight off the bat. Straight off the bat. Whip out the keys. I think Madja outcalled himself in the first half. Now, that sounds a little too deep for me. We're going to need some explanation here. Well, Yanko will know what I mean. He had a clear game plan. Yanko will know what I mean. Yanko's like, yeah, explanation. So, <laughs> so from, from the get-go, their game plan was clear. They went for like A corridors and mid control, and then they were selling a B fake, right? You mm -hmm. saw Madja throwing a lot of utility yeah. over there. They were up 9-1 or something ridiculous at that point, and then he just started going for B plays. He's just doing B executes off the bat. Now, the idea is, hey, normally we go for this A control, right? So you're going to have to have more players over here, maybe expend a little bit more utility, but surprise, we're attacking B. And then he kept rinsing and repeating that, trying to hit that B bomb site as much as humanly possible. Yeah. And they just won't have any success there when the simple answer was just doing the same thing because they were able to exploit the information players over towards the A bomb site. All in all, I think Space Soldiers played a very well rounded game. It's uh, great that it was a close game for the viewers. Great for you casting. Great oh, for yeah. us to watch. But I think Space Soldiers, yeah, in this one, they were. You think it was theirs? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yanko, is that the same kind of sentiment from you? Perhaps not the outcalling, playing himself aspect? But no, I mean, it's always there's two schools of thought, right? Some You want to give. It's a smart call to give your 
uh, opponents, you know, the respect that they are going to adjust at some point and you want to be one step ahead and when they make the adjustment, you already outplay them. And the other school of thought is, well, until they adjust, we'll just keep doing the same thing. Maybe they are either unaware of exactly what we're doing or maybe even if they are, they can't execute exactly uh, properly to counter us at the moment. So it goes both ways, really. Yeah. Uh, Major, I think it's still obvious that even though he improved a lot as an in-game leader, there's, there's still uh, room to go for him, and I'm sure he can agree to that himself. And I'm sure he would, but you, that we, can we acknowledge, before you make your point, mm -hmm. sorry, Jan, can we acknowledge, Yanko, that they are looking well structured, of like course. we've seen the pistol round, some of the things they were pulling out on Mirage as well. The, yes, of course, they're playing really well yeah. as a team on both sides of the map. They have good setups on the CT side, good changes of pace, mix of Room aggression, time, right? Yeah. It's just, I think for him, it's not necessarily that he makes a bad call. I think he makes a bad read, and from that comes the bad call, Understood. you know, which is, again, something that comes with but more time and more experience. Get, before we get stuck into talking about how banger of a game Calix had, I, I, what I said, I don't necessarily, I, I don't mean Magic did a bad job. What no, I mean no, is, no, I, I think his game plan was fantastic. Yeah. I think that his approach to the game you know, was, was really good. As anyone tried, it's fine. I, I it's always, always on I, the optimistic side he, of things. I thought things. he had a good game plan. I thought that he, he just was a little he bit stubborn. He called everyone, including himself. He was just a little bit stubborn towards the end. I, the game plan should have panned out, but when it didn't, maybe he should have readjusted sure. in the last two rounds. A bit That's more flexibility. Yeah, and the Space Soldiers pick up the win. That's huge, in fact. And you know what else is huge? More Counter-Strike, the North American Pro Yeehaw! League. Yeehaw, indeed. So this is for y'all, that's right, I can panda. OG SK coming up first, and you get Dignitas Cloud9, and a little tasty one, a little morsel for you. And for you guys who are you early or late nut birds, whatever whatever your working schedule is, you can catch NRG versus Liquid. That should be exciting, actually, getting to see Liquid. I don't know whether we get to see Mr. Taco. Yes. I don't know if he's been. They haven't he actually. He did get officially... added to the ESEA roster yeah. today, so I'm thinking like anything's possible. Hasn't happened two days. No, he did get added. Yes. Oh, actually, I've just, I've just, I've just heard from the admins. Uh, 48 hour hold when you join a roster, so oh. we won't get to see him yet. Yes, that's why I was wondering whether it was today or yesterday or two days ago. Oh, I can't that's remember, what I but. Yeah, in any case, I'm sure we'll see him soon enough. I think this is a sort of a grudge match at the moment at NA because NRG knocked them out of Sydney, Sydney right? Yeah. They, they beat them in the Sydney qualifier, which is obviously a massive tournament. And, you know, we saw, was it Nath or someone tweet something along the lines, they're onliners mm -hmm. or say it in an interview. I'm not 100% sure, but there's definitely, you know, I think Liquid will, de will definitely be out to get them. Ooh. And I like that. We need more live yeah. rivalries and grudge matches and... You know, everyone's too nice to each other at the and moment. I don't like it. That. There's no absence of anger from Elijah, one of the top players from Liquid, who gets oh, more from Elijah. Him. Elijah Wood. Um, now, oh, what would you like more than the results? We can show you them right here, right now. We just had a full three series game day. It was lovely. We got to see the French affair first, and indeed, we did get to see zero curveballs in that one, which is a nice release. And what is happening on that B stream? My eyes are immediately drawn to Mouse Bots Good only grief. just getting Close. over the line versus LDLC on the first map, and the second one is in overtime. I'm going to see if we can quickly check it. The current score is, oh, it's Nuke. Okay, well, that explains a lot. Well, it was Nuke, and it was LDLC having 13-2 first half on the CT side. And oh. you can't close that feels one like out, you it into overtime. Mm, that's well, mad. And Navi won cash. Yeah, with Simple having 30 kills and 100 ADR. Oh, wow, Counter-Strike continues to make no sense. Perhaps this makes sense to you, though, because you've got more games to look ooh, forward to. Ooh. Yes, indeed. Look at that one I hear. And ooh, Fnatic Phase Astralis. Phase NIP. Exist versus NIP. To be fair, I was really excited about the AGO Mouse game. Because they a lot of good games. Good trajectory, so. Space Shut Soldiers up, North excites me as well, actually. So that's uh, there's, a, there's an, a plethora of different uh, games for you to enjoy tomorrow. Can we, tomorrow. like, get North Space Soldiers as the first game on the A stream and knock the LDLC, like, and G2 on B? That's true. I wonder if can we can you, do can that. You can you some strings, I can't, I can't. I can get on the phone. Yeah, uh, get on the dog. Get normally, on the board. Normally, Golden Boy favors, they take uh, more than 24 hours to, to make okay. happen. Wow. So. So Golden Boy and Janko Palanovic, we bid you adieu, and we'll see you tomorrow for those fantastic, juicy games.